community. Good morning. <laughs> so we're having another issue. <laughs> we think we have more kidney stones. It yes. started yesterday and I've been in pain ever since. Um, between that and a headache. So lovely. I haven't been feeling that great, um, but Kirsty was given one of the same medications that I have been on for years, and um, she done some research, or she did some research on it, and she found out that they have been doing studies on it, and um, some of the studies that they've done on this one medication has shown that it is a possibility that it, it increases the possibility of it, kidney stones. Yeah, it increases the possibility of kidney stones. Yep. And I've been on it for years, and as you guys all know, I have a history of kidney stones. So I called my nephrologist today and made an appointment um, for the 10th of May. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of why I keep getting kidney stones. If it is this medication, uh, we have to see what we can do because it's a medication for my bipolar. Right. It's also for migraine. It's but, also for migraine. So, and we tell you what it is. We tell you what it is, but every time we talk about medications, specific medications, they unmonetize us. So they're very sensitive about the medications. We can't put it on a video, and we can't put it in a description, and we can't put it in tag words. I think we can actually write it into the uh, comments. But... Yeah, they get all they get all weird when we talk about medication. Yeah, so um, yeah, so unfortunately we can't say what it is, but I've been in pain since yesterday morning, and uh, just suffering through that. That's why I didn't really do much coloring yesterday, and I don't think I'll be doing much coloring today. I'm going to try cutting out the tea today and drinking uh, my Mio, and uh, see if that helps with some of the pain. Yep. And uh, I need to do some shopping with mom because we are completely out of food at this point, and uh, I'm, we're completely out of money. It was all put into uh, bills yesterday, and I don't know if I'll get to lawn. We'll see what happens. So we were lazy bombs today. We didn't do anything. Went to the store with my mom and got some uh, groceries, so we have food today. Or hopefully for the rest of the week, I hope. And uh, so, well, I guess it, one thing we could talk about today is uh, people were asking about what we thought of the Bye Bye Man, which is a movie we uh, watched yesterday. So, what did you think of it? I thought it was a very good movie. It was quite similar to. Um, Candyman and Bloody Mary, but it had a little bit of a different twist to it. Uh -huh. um, you didn't have to say it three times for one, and um, you didn't even really have to say it. Mm -hmm. That's true. You had to say it once, I think, didn't you? So, well, we don't want to give away the plot. But it, if you haven't seen it, but um, in, as far as horror film, films are concerned, it was well made, good cinematography, good acting, uh, typical bizarre ending that kind of leaves you scratching your head. But 
Uh, all in all, I thought it was a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Someone asked us we should probably do movie reviews again, but, which we probably should. Yeah, well, since that seems to be all we're doing, really, is watching movies <laughs> recently, yep. um, maybe that's, maybe we should start doing movie reviews again. Yeah, um, I, when we do movie reviews, I like to review independent movies and stuff like that, that, um, you know, I don't want to try and bother doing a review on Star Wars movies or anything, because yeah, nobody no. cares what we think about those. No. So movies uh, like Bye Bye Man and, and like Daisy Chain, like we watched. We today. just watched Daisy Chain. Uh, maybe we'll do a review on that tomorrow. Yeah. You know what we should do a review on is I am the pretty thing in the house. Yes. Someone asked about that as well. It's one of those movies that, um, if you were looking for blood and gore and jump scares, it wasn't going to be in it. It was very, um, very more cerebral kind of movie. I think it's definitely a movie you should probably watch more than once uh, to understand it, if if you can get past the uh, pace, because it's kind of slow. But uh, I still thought it was a very good movie. I did. So we might do a review on that one as well. I yeah. don't know how well it did in the theater, but well, it had an, it had an excellent cast and uh, cinematography was excellent. And well, what was the other Man one? Man didn't do well in the theater. Well, it was a horror film. It made its money back, which is what yeah. they're designed to do. Yeah. I don't know about the uh, um, I Am the Pretty Thing in the House. It was an independent film, so uh, was it, not a lot was expected. What was the other one we saw that had really eerie and, and cool um, cinematography? Oh, gosh. Don't ask me. It was the Disappointments Room. Oh, yes. Um, that one was a little strange. It had a little trouble trying to figure out where they were going with that. Yeah. It was a little... But that was Confusing. loosely based on a true story. Yeah, so very loosely. Yeah. But it was still, it was still interesting. I thought. So, not a movie I think I'd watch twice. But it was still I thought worth to watch. It had Kate Beckinsale in it. Yeah. Who, uh, um, it's worth just watching her do her thing because she's really a very brilliant talented. actress. Yeah. So. The uh, cinematography was creepy, the sets were moody and creepy, and uh, I like, that's one of the things I like in horror films. Having my tea. With no sugar. <laughs> so gang, what do you have to say buddy? What do you have to say? There's Mojo, and there's Boomer off the corner there. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, well, gang, it's uh, it's about that time. I hope you liked any something that we talked about today. And um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a um, don't forget to share, and subscribe, and uh, that's about it, I think. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.